What's good with it, fam? What's going on, man? On this lovely Tuesday, it's your boy Rebuke, man. I've been doing a little traveling, so, you know, I ain't dropping no videos, you know what I'm saying, in a couple of days. But welcome back to another edition of Rebuke All Devils Radio 107.7, home of the truth. And this story is courtesy of CNN Digital, right? Search for Colorado shooter underway after three killed, one wounded in dispute over property lines. Sheriff says, shout out to Melissa for bringing us this story. And let's see what's going on in Colorado, man, because it sure has been a lot of activity up there in that state here lately. Police are searching for a suspect in a shooting that left three people dead and a fourth person wounded in a rural area of southern Colorado after an apparent dispute over property lines Monday afternoon, authorities said. Oh my goodness. The incident happened around 1 p.m. local time when the shooter opened fire on a group of five people, Custer County Sheriff Lori Rich Smith said in a news conference Monday night. Okay, so I believe that's a suspect. Yeah, the Custer County Sheriff released this photo of Hanmi K. Clark, Custer County Sheriff's Office. So here's a suspect right there, you know, and, you know, this is the typical look of, of, of mass shooters here in America. They look just like this guy. Two men and a woman were killed, the sheriff said. Another woman suffered multiple gunshots to the chest, but expected but is expected to survive, Smith said. So he just went on a rampage, huh? A fifth person managed to escape, the sheriff added. Authorities are searching for the suspect identified as 45-year-old Hanmi K. Clark. The suspect and at least one of the victims have been in previous civil disputes about property lines, Smith said, without providing further details. The sheriff said the shooting happened in a wooded area in Custer County, a rural part of the state with a little more than 5,000 residents. As law enforcement combed the area for the suspect with the help from a drone and SWAT team, a shelter-in-place order was sent out to area residents at 1.43 p.m. local time, the sheriff said. Clark was believed to be in the white Dodge Ram pickup truck Monday night. We have a very good lead on almost exactly where the suspect and the vehicle are, and we're working with another law enforcement agency to take him into custody, Smith said Monday night. This is a developing story and will be updated. So yeah, hand me. You done done it this time, buddy. And the police is coming for you. But you know, I've had neighbors too. You know, like I had a neighbor, you know, sometimes when I watch on a, a sunny day, man, you know, I hang my clothes out on my fence. You know, I had a neighbor try to tell me that, you know, it didn't look right. And you know, and I had to, you know, let him know. It, 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 what it looks like is me saving money on my electric bill. <laughs> you know what I mean? And with it being my fence, I can hang whatever I want to on my fence, you know? And, uh, and you know, and, and he actually tried to say that it was his fence. So I had to go pull this survey out when, when I bought my house, when, me and my girl, when we bought a house. And, you know, like I thought, you know, the, the survey says that the fence was on my, on my lot. You know, I actually bought two lots in this particular neighborhood. And so, yeah, you know, he tried to make a big stink about it, you know. But at the end of the day, you know, righteousness always prevailed. But... It was, you know, harming anybody never crossed my mind over a dispute of a property line. So I really don't understand how this guy right here could have lost it like that. You know, but YouTube, what do y'all think, man? Drop them comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click on that notification bell. And I'll catch y'all in the next episode. Peace.